In a dramatic escalation of hostilities in the Middle East, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu announced that Israel had executed a significant airstrike targeting Iran's military capabilities claiming it successfully hit critical defense installations and missile production facilities. This bold move has sparked a series of reactions, with Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei cautioning against overestimating the impact of these attacks. Netanyahu emphasized the precision and effectiveness of the airstrikes during a speech, stating that they were aimed directly at Iran's capacity to launch missiles against Israel. The Air Force attacked throughout Iran, he proclaimed, suggesting that Israel achieved its objectives in a concerted effort to neutralize threats. With the ongoing warfare between Israel and militant groups in Gaza and Lebanon, there is a palpable concern that such confrontations could spiral into a broader regional conflict. In stark contrast, Khamenei downplayed the consequences of the attack, stating that it should neither be exaggerated nor minimized. He asserted that Israel was miscalculating its assessment of Iran's strength and resilience. They still haven't been able to correctly understand the power, capability, ingenuity, and determination of the Iranian people, he warned, signaling that Iran's response could be carefully calculated but potentially significant. The Iranian government responded vehemently, with Foreign Minister Abbas Aragchi describing Israel's actions as criminal aggression and vowing that Iran reserves the right to retaliate. This sentiment was echoed by Khamenei, who indicated that any military action should be weighed against the broader context of ongoing conflicts in the region. Simultaneously, fighting continued in Lebanon, particularly involving Iranian-backed Hezbollah forces, intensifying the already strained situation. Reports indicated that Israeli airstrikes had resulted in civilian casualties, including the deaths of eight people in Sidon, highlighting the severe humanitarian consequences of the ongoing military engagements. This further complicates the dynamics in the region, as the delicate balance of power teeters on the edge of wider warfare. The United States has expressed concern over the escalation, with President Joe Biden calling for restraint from both sides. The risk of a wider conflict looms large as the situation remains volatile, with heavy fighting continuing in multiple locations. Israel's defense minister asserted that Iran's allies, including Hamas and Hezbollah, are no longer effective military tools, claiming significant losses in their operational capacities. The international community is watching closely as the ramifications of these strikes unfold. Iran's military leadership has hinted at potential responses that may not necessarily lead to immediate retaliation, but could affect the strategic landscape in the coming days and weeks. The stakes are high. And as both nations engage in this dangerous game of brinksmanship, the prospects for peace appear increasingly distant. As the situation develops, it's clear that the tensions between Israel and Iran are at a critical juncture, with the potential to reshape the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East for the foreseeable future. Stay subscribed for more videos.